Okay, people, it's me, your long lost teacher. Uh, some of you are getting uh, stuck on some stuff, which is the trigonometry, and rightfully so, it is not um, super, super easy. There you go, I'll do this. And I am going to walk you through it in three steps. First one is going to be uh, the concept of uh, changing radians to degrees and degrees to radians. This is a key concept because you need to be fluid in going back and forth with them. You've already taken a test on it, so apparently you probably know it. I mean, the quiz in ingenuity, but I'm going to just give you my two cents on it real quick. So, um, in a circle is 360 degrees. Starting right here at zero, it goes all the way around the circle and you end up at 360 degrees. Uh, the circle is divided into four quadrants. This is typically, you know, we call that the first, the second, the third, and the fourth quadrant. In this quadrant right here from zero to 90 degrees, uh, we have really three major divisions that we're concerned with, with degrees and radians. Uh, the first one, you can say, is right down the middle, which is at 45 degrees. And we can do that in all of the quadrants. If you go 45 degrees in this quadrant, you're at 135 degrees. If you go 45 degrees in this quadrant, you're at 100, this is 180, plus the 45, that's 225 degrees. And we're over here, we're at 270. And if we split this one in half, the 90 degrees, 45 on each side, you've got 270 plus 45, which is 315 degrees. Okay, let's start with that. Make sure you understand that. That's basic, basic stuff there. So from there, we are going to um, make sure we know how to change these two radians, right? So... The, chain, the conversion from degrees to radians, let's start with 45 degrees, for instance. The 45 degrees over 1, and when you're doing conversions of units, you have to have the same units on the bottom. So on the bottom here, we have 180 degrees, and on the top, we put a pi. So this um, is the math that you do right here in this box the math that you do to convert anything from degrees this is the degrees side this is the radian this is the conversion to make it into radians so radians 45 you can reduce this this is 1 this is 4 and we end up with pi over 4 so 45 degrees is pi over 4 these are equivalent we need to be able to talk about something in degrees or radians at the same time. You could do the same thing with 90 degrees and any of them really. So at 90 degrees over 1 times pi over 180. We convert this. This reduces pi over 2. And you can keep doing this. We'll do one more. 135 or let's do a big one. 315. 315 degrees. Can you see that? Yeah. 315 degrees over 1 times pi over 180. And this reduces, you can reduce this um, by what? I don't know what goes into this. Uh, 45, I guess. 45 goes into this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. Is that right? And 45 goes into this four times. So 7 pi over 4. Okay. That's the basic conversion factors for um, degrees and radians. Something you should know as well. Um, I'll fix all that. Something you should know as well is that um, pi equals 3.141592. So typically a, um, this was 315, typically um, sorry, 225. Typically we use pi. When you can use pi, you use pi. If you have to convert it to, to an actual number, you have to use 3.14 usually for the math for pi. So 
3.14 divided by 4, if you did that math, whatever that answer is, that's also the answer. Pi over 4 is an exact answer. We prefer exact answers whenever possible. But um, in a unit circle, everything is exact answers always because a unit circle is specifically created to be exact uh, radian measures. All right. I want to show you uh, uh, the next thing, but that's the basics of create of changing uh, radians to degrees. That's the end of my first video. Step two will be um, tri special case triangles. Uh, maybe not. Maybe step two will be filling out the whole unit circle with degrees and radians. The easy way. It's the ZZ way. You know. They call me Mr. Z for a reason. The ZZ way. Rock on.